That third channel I never made. Watch JR mow. Today, we're gonna do some of that, but I'm not gonna actually do any mowing. What is going on guys? I'm Watch Jay Ergo and today we're here with my newest toy off of Amazon. I hope this takes care of my yard for the next like three to five years. That's that's what I'd like to see out of this thing. It's a robotic mower. This is the Works Landroid, the half acre one. I, it had a model number, but I don't see what, the, oh, WR150, I think. So this should be the biggest one with built-in GPS. So if anyone tries to steal the thing, uh, it will permanently disable itself. And we're gonna just open this up. I bought it on Amazon. I'll throw a link in the description below and uh, try to get it mowing. I hope there's a lot of wire in there because this thing runs with a boundary wire and my yard is, I mean, it's a big square, but uh, I don't know if that's enough boundary wire. Let's hope, let's get to the good part here. Look at that. There's the new lawnmower. I guess you set cutting height, right? Oh, that's interesting. That is physically setting cutting height. I didn't expect that. Looks like that's a rain sensor, so that's kind of cool. Oh, that's not too bad. I expected this to be really heavy, but it's not like, it's not terrible. Maybe be careful doing that because it does have the fly out razor blades right there. And I just reached right in. <laughs> Don't worry about those razor blades. Uh, it is cool, these things, almost every one of these uh, robotic lawnmowers cuts the grass with razor blades. Obviously cutting with a super sharp blade is really good for your lawn. It doesn't distress the grass too much if you cut with a, you know, a sharp blade and all that good stuff. Let's see if we can get, oh, I see, I see. That's the, the actual charging station here. Just rip this guy out, there we go. Got a lot of cord for the charging station. I think this thing should be self-docking and, huh, kind of cool. That one has a switch in it, that one doesn't. So maybe it can like pull up and then it touches those two contacts with those two contacts. All right, what else do we have in the box here? Getting through the unboxing, we've got some, uh, like lawn screws basically those probably hold down the charging mat and we have a charger and that charging mat has a huge cord so we can put this up on the deck and put that way down out in the yard i was pretty worried about where i was going to put this thing so it could charge but i think this will work you really have no idea what you're expecting uh, I didn't watch any videos. I didn't do any learning. I just kind of sent it. I think this thing was a thousand dollars and my lawn guy was charging me about 1500 a year. So no matter what I do with this, it's a huge win not paying the lawn guy. We've got one more box here. Let's see what's in there. Oh, the battery. It's funny that it's like a cordless drill battery to run the thing. So where does the battery go? Flip this thing over. I'm still looking for where the battery goes. There's a USB port. That's kind of cool. Better make sure that's protected. Don't need that filling up with water and grass clippings. It does have like a little push in waterproof cover. Uh, voice control, which is funny. There must be a microphone hidden in there. Uh, this thing is super easy to spin. So it's like well balanced, high speed, I would say. I don't know how this is cut to edge because clearly there's like two inches of that that it can't cut. So I would say this is 100% not cut to edge and uh, has a little guide to brush the grass in and then you can see it's got the find my landroid radio link thing right there which is really just molded plastics and it has the gps in it i figured out where the battery goes lift that up should stay up just a little bit battery goes upside down slide it in there it is dead well thanks landroid or works all i wanted for christmas was a lawnmower with a dead battery so you nailed it Welcome. Date's wrong. I don't know what the pin number is. So I will say on Amazon, there were like thousands of comments saying that you couldn't get the pin number, I guess. It just, this says push up four times and hit okay. And I just did that and it worked. So obviously I'll have to change that pin number, but now it's on and it says their guide wire is missing. It's not on the Wi-Fi network yet either. I went ahead and just picked the mower up and set it on the charging pad here. And it says emergency charge, charging 28%. So uh, the wire itself that will run around the yard has to hook up to this as well. Uh, time to go run some wire. I really hope there's enough. All right, we've got wire in stakes and uh, a man with a hammer. I'm hammered. <laughs> so we're gonna go find a place to put this that the mower can easily get in and out of and also has access to power. Again, 
Sorry about the wind. This is Kansas, where every day is a tornado. Well, Josh was like, why don't we just shove this under your deck? And I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that. So we're going to hook the wire up right now. We've got it ran and the power's all hooked up. So you can see the red lights on there. All we got to do now is open up the door, plug in our wires, bring them out, and give the mower a place to go. I think to make this work, we're going to have to put it right in the middle, but it should work. It's a good spot for it. We're throwing some wire in the ground here. Not doing a very good job of the in the ground part, but maybe I'll come back through with a spade and push it and then push it into the ground. You're not even using your guide. I oh, know, but way off. Yeah, it's oh, four inches. <laughs> it's four inches from things that can go over. <laughs> All right, every 32 is where we're putting that. You want to hammer them and I'll hand them to you? Sure. We got it. Oh, that was a nightmare. As soon as the loop was complete, I hit OK and away she goes. Hopefully it stays away from the wire because we're still hammering the wire down. There we go. Uh-oh. Okay, we better get the wire hammered down before we get too crazy with this thing. Apparently he doesn't like what we did. Well, dad showed up when it's time to do dad things. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the new dog. Really didn't take long to get this wire in. It was just kind of a lot of work for one hour. The grass is like perfectly shaved when it comes through it too. Like a normal blade from the mower is all like trashed. And the blades when that comes through are flawless. So should be good for grass health, that's for sure. A couple mows and it should hide all this trash from where we had to mow it down real real high one time. You, know, you might have to dethatch one. It's, it needs dethatched. Now I can't hit the wire with the dethatcher. <laughs> <laughs> Well, here we are a year and a half later, two years really. I bought this in what, 2020? It's now 2022, beginning of it. And uh, really, it did okay the first year, but it always mows the same way. Like these things, they can't figure out a pattern. They don't have any AI. They just go like, just totally random and they bounce off the wire like a Roomba. They can't like zigzag up and they can't stripe your yard. They can't do anything you know, incredible, but they will knock it down. And the other problem is I have almost a half acre, uh, if you go all the way around the house here. So it really struggles to do a half acre. Uh, it has to charge over and over and over, and it takes like the entire week to mow a half acre because it doesn't have any determined pattern. So, I mean, it's fine, it's a robot. You don't have to deal with it. You don't have to be there, but uh, it also just doesn't really do a great job. It just happens to be a robot with some spinning razor blades that cuts the grass. And right now the razor blades are a little dull, so you can see the cut looks horrific. We just have to actually see even the little bit that it does cut, because it only cuts about an eight inch swath in there. Um, I think it's, it's about eight round. I mean, if we pick the thing up. So the blades are way back here, so you won't get your fingers ever cut off or worry about your toes or anything like that. You can see it has guides that it tries to guide the grass in and uh, cut it while it's inside the guide. But also like, you know, this is collateral damage around here and it does work. Now, the blades are super easy to replace. I've only had to do it once and it was cutting great. Uh, I just stopped using it last year and went back to a lawn service because this was so much of a hassle falling off the curb because I installed it poorly. <laughs> there it goes. That's my I'm ready to go beep. It has the rain sensor over there on the side, those two contacts. If enough water hits that, it stops mowing for you automatically. And uh, the phone controls are pretty good. And, you know, sometimes it can get home. There, I just ended up with a lot of times where it couldn't get itself back on its charging base. Uh, so we go around the whole yard again and the battery would die before it could get back to its charging base. If it misses, it has to go around your entire property because it just follows its wire. I've already pulled that wire out because if you couldn't tell, I'm selling it today. It's already, already paid for. Guy's on his way to pick it up. And that is the end of my robot mower experience. We are going back to a lawn service because I don't want to spend the time dealing with it or spend the time sitting around getting this thing unstuck off obstacles like uh, really just my I have a high tree root it would get stuck there and it couldn't fix that it high centered itself which you could fix with dirt and when I installed it I put the wire too close to the edge I put it at about seven inches it honestly has to be like a full foot or it will struggle so there you go that's my review my two-year review I used it for part of last year too review of the works Landroid 
L, uh, I think this is the WR150 or the W150. It's the big boy. Everyone keeps promising real AI robot mowers. And if that ever happens, I think that's a, a very valid solution to mowing your lawn. And it doesn't, I mean, it's a great deal if you think about it. I'm gonna pay the lawn service almost $1,000 this year. And that thing costs $1,300. $1, so somebody's getting a really good deal now. I sold it for $500. Final thoughts, I think this ended up hurting my yard, kind of the way it cut and how it would just leave really, really tall patches all around the yard. Like there'd be little sections that were huge and it couldn't catch those because of course it doesn't know where it needs to go. But you can see it just destroy all that grass right there. It looks, it did a pretty good job knocking that out. But I'm taking the yard seriously this year. It looked killer when I bought this place. Uh, just unbelievable, like that guy's level. That guy mows his yard like five times a week and it's just beautiful. So I'm overseeding, raking the whole yard and bringing it back and this has to go. So there you go, that's what happens when you buy a robot mower and use it for about two years. If you have a smaller yard, you might have better luck, I don't know. And uh, if you follow the directions uh, and use the spacer to put it like 12 inches from any obstacle and 12 inches from any edges or something like that, it may be even farther. You might have a little bit better success with this thing. Uh, I didn't want a weedy and this doesn't really solve that problem because it doesn't get close enough to anything. So you will have to weed eat your yard or pay somebody to do that. So maybe keep your lawn service or if you like weed eating and have the new electric Milwaukee weed eater, it'd be good to go. But I keep the weed eater at the shop and I did not want to weed eat here. So it doesn't get that close to anything, even with cut to edge, it gets sort of close. It gets to the wire. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shopwatchjrgo.com for cool shirts, not like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And I will talk to you next time. Here, let's watch it get into some big sticks. Obviously it's gonna bail when it hits that giant stick. And my yard's all marked out because they're putting in fiber right now. So the mower would probably eat all of those flags if I don't stop it. That's another problem. If there's anything in your yard, it's gonna try to eat it. Look at that, she's stuck. All right, back out you go.